and welcome to the Audio Fabristas weekly vlog number 93 where I talk about audio coffee and other things that keep me busy. Now this was a crazy week as far as work was concerned. If you look over here I've been sitting here for four days in a row giving trainings uh, looking at this television right in front of me. So after four days of hard work and doing a little administration during the breaks, after four days of hard work, I felt like a little experiment. So let's change this. And boom, there is the change. Let's play some music. And after that, I'll tell you all about it. <laughs> I got it I believe from the YouTube library I don't remember exactly but it's license free so that won't give me any problems now what you see here are the stuff is the stuff that I usually use in the office I have my big computer downstairs that's where I do all my editing and where I do all my work and I have these two Q acoustics the 2010s as monitors downstairs and for amplification I am using this SM SL8018 this is a class D amplifier which is a nice little thing and for today because one of the reasons I wanted this one is because it is small oh this may be a little bit dark let's see if we can make this a bit better for you well, too much. Why I wanted this one is because it is small and it has USB in. Something that I'm not using at this moment. I now use the optical input and it plays from the well-known Chromecast Audio with an AudioQuest cable. So let's go back again. The reason, well, I called it an experiment. It's not really an experiment, but normally in my office, I don't play them too loud. And because I had four long days of work, I needed to uh, break out a little bit. So I picked these up and I've been playing them this morning pretty loud because that's what I needed. And I've been enjoying these very, very much actually. And they are perfect for them in my office. And this little thing is also pretty amazing. The combination, of course, if you compare it, it's not a fair comparison, but if you compare it to my Ocilias, there's a lot, a lot wrong. You can't play too much bass. The music can't be too complex. But if you pick the right kind of music, something that I just showed you, it is a very, very enjoyable experience. One of the things with this loudspeaker, well, actually not, not with this loudspeaker, but you remember that for the last few months, my stuff kept breaking down. And at one point, there was also strange noises coming from the loudspeakers. So I was pretty annoyed with that. And it took me some time to discover what it is and what it was. Let me pick it up is this little thing. So the interesting thing with these loudspeakers is that the connections are not on the rear like mo 
most loudspeakers have the connection for the loudspeaker cables on the rear this one doesn't because the connections are down there and these Nakamichi plugs they have the tendency to you screw them on the banana plug making it look nice but these things are so poorly constructed that they always come loose so this was actually rattling at certain frequencies from the loudspeaker and it was very annoying and it took me some time to discover what it was so when I picked up these loudspeakers this morning to bring them upstairs here I heard the same noise because these things always come loose I hate these things anyways so these things I don't like but once you know it it's not a problem of the loudspeaker anymore and it sounds just perfectly nice let me give you another sound sample let's turn up the volume first a little bit oh make me a little bit more and let's go on, go on. Uh, no, be there the music um what shall i play i don't know let's try this one <laughs> Okay, and now for something completely different. You see, last week I got a comment on one of the videos and this was an interesting topic, something that I never had really thought about and I thought it was pretty interesting. You see, we have been in this pandemic now for over one year and of course we lost a lot a lot of people during this pandemic i believe it's in the millions correct me if i'm wrong but it feels like it anyways this commenter said well this made me think about my own morality um, mortality and if i should die i have all this wonderful stuff that's what the commenter says I have all this wonderful stuff I have my CDs and LPs and I have my equipment but none of my children will be interested in that after I after I die so what would happen to your music and your equipment after that nobody knows what it's worth in my case probably nobody knows even how to turn it on and off correctly it's worth a lot of money but well will they only sell it because of the money will they just put it on craigslist for a ridiculous low price so what would happen now he didn't know yet what would happen to his but it made me thinking and i have been talking uh, about it with my girlfriend well she had some interesting thoughts because she wasn't sure if she wanted to sell it but she did know these things have been so, so important to me that whatever was going to happen she was going to make sure that these things will end up at somebody who will understand what this is a lover of music an audiophile or something like that and now I have a lot of my stuff that I had bought for a long time ago I bought at my favorite audio dealer 
and we have known them for I think 30 years now so she also knows them and she said I would have never thought about that she said you know what I would do I would go to them and ask them to help me make sure that this stuff gets a new life or continuous life at the place that all this stuff deserves also we have been talking about especially for an audio file if you die they always play some music at the funeral so what music would you like to play uh, at your funeral so every now and then every five years we sit down together and play some music for each other so we know what would the other one like to play at their funeral it's not the most comfortable topic to talk about but we all die at the end so that's going to happen anyway one of the things that i always was wondering and that she always says well i'm just going to make sure that this will happen is that these wonderful auxilias and my wonderful aitos will be the ones playing at my funeral now normally of course you have the pa system from well wherever it is that you are where they say goodbye to you and you play from the pa system that they have over there but well this is my life i have been an audiophile for all my life so would you be willing would you want as an audiophile even though you're not there anymore would you want your favorite music to be played over an inferior pa uh, sound system and i always thought well the best thing for me would of course even though i'm not there i'm the only one not experiencing it in the room but i would say i would like to have my wonderful auxilias and the itis equipment to play my favorite music at the funeral and throughout throughout my life these things uh, ch uh, change what is the the music that i would like to be played and at the moment i'm not even sure anymore what what it would be so it's probably time that we have another evening of discussing with each other what is the music that you would like to play at your funeral and i think and i thank the commenter for bringing this up because this is maybe one of those topics that we never ever discuss but maybe i'm wrong you know so let me know in the comments have you ever thought about what will happen to all my stuff and i'm assuming that you have like a big system or you invested a lot of money in your system or even when you don't in heaven if you haven't invested a lot of money but just something that is a system that is near to your heart what will happen after you die will this end up in a thrift store i don't want that i'm not even there anymore but for now if i think about it it would be a shame if these things end up with just a reseller who doesn't care about what these things can do so let me know in the comments what would you do and have you have any plans for it i would be interested in hearing your thoughts about it maybe even be inspired by what you have thought about what will happen after you die so maybe a strange topic but i think it's a topic that is worthwhile considering so Thanks again for sharing this comment with me. And I guess you understand that after a topic like that, I need some coffee.
after those considerations, it is time for coffee. So today, as you just saw, let me pick it up right here. This is on top of the coffee. You pour your water over it, as you just saw. So down there is your coffee. And this thing, that is the, the lid and also the drip tray when you are finished. This is a Vietnamese fin. And what you use, as I showed you, here is this, this full cream sweetened condensed milk, which is incredibly uh, sweet. So the process of making coffee this way together with the fin is very slowly the water goes through the coffee very very slowly and this makes the coffee a bit strong maybe a little bit bitter but if you combine it with this sweet condensed milk it becomes a perfect cup of coffee but it leans towards being more like chocolate milk uh, hot cocoa than pure coffee but every now and then I really adore this way and this way of making coffee let's see I have another one over here that I think is much more beautiful but this thing has been used a lot let me make some room here I think this thing looks beautiful and it is a this thing is used and I think it has even been repaired a few times because if you look inside here so you have this oh, come on, get it. so as you can see it has the holes in the bottom to let the coffee out you can see this is quite eroded so this has been used lovingly at one point I think it broke down so I'm not even sure if this is the original, but as you can see, it has, it has been repaired. It looks a little bit gross, so I'm not using it anymore, but I think it looks very sweet and very nice. So unfortunately I can't use this one, but this one is just perfect and it makes a great cup of coffee okay guys so this is all that i have for you today so let me finish up the weather this week has been very warm at the moment it's a bit cloudy a bit colder than the previous few days but it's okay and i'm going to enjoy my weekend i wish you all a very good weekend uh, because it's Friday today. I don't know what time you are watching this, but today is Friday. So have a nice weekend. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.